first step is to remove the four screws holding down the binding plate. Underneath the binding plate in the nozzle are two bearing load holes. There are two close tolerance bearing races in each nozzle. Flip the nozzle over using a cup to catch the ball bearings that fall out of the holes. Wiggle the parts back and forth, rotating in different directions until all of the balls fall out of the holes. Due to the machine close tolerances of the bearing races, the Delrin ball bearings sit quite tightly in the bearing races. Experiment with different combinations of movement of the nozzle and the Y inward and outward pressure to dislocate all of the balls from the bearing races and drop them into the cup. Apply a slight outward tension on the nozzle. When there are no longer any balls in the bearing races, the two parts will easily separate. Inside the CNC machine bearing race of the nozzle, the water sealing o-ring is embedded at the base. The outer surface of the Y-tube is coated with a light silicon grease where it contacts the o-ring. This allows for a low friction movement. To reassemble, simply reverse the steps. Load the bearings equally into each port. To complete the assembly, reattach the binding plate on top, which seals the bearing port caps. Tighten the four screws, reattach the binding, and you're good to go.